to discuss the unit file size within Unity, I decided to use the SteamVR template. So let's take a look within Unity. We have the player component over here, and we're gonna see that by default the position on X, Y, and Z is set to 0, 0, 0. If I'm gonna go and move this along the Z axis, so this will be the blue axis within Unity, I'm gonna go all the way to 7. So this will be the equivalent of a distance of 7 meter. If I'm gonna reposition my camera within the scene, I'm gonna go to the top view and I'm gonna go on perspective view. I'm gonna see that the camera is positioned over here where those two element of the tiles uh, will meet. So we see over here that we have a distance uh, measurement within Unity Steam VR, but it's currently displaying uh, zero meter from the camera up to, to the target. If I'm gonna go with play, now that the camera has been moved to seven meters on the, the Y axis, this will be the default camera position. And if I'm gonna move my camera view, I'm gonna see that there's a distance of uh, zero uh, of 2.8 meters. I have the possibility over here to reposition the camera. So for example, if I will go this to 8.8, .8, I'm gonna see that now the camera will be at a distance of one meter from the target. And again, if I will go to the top view, I will see that 8.8 .8 will mean that the camera will be over, he over here, but if I will go to 9, it will be exactly where the two, uh, the four tiles are, uh, are meeting. So why I wanted to make this video? Because there is a lot of confusion between uh, the unit and the file size of various 3D models uh, that are brought into Unity. So I have over here the documentation open. So this is from uh, docs.unity3d.com. And we see that, so Unity uses uh, one meter as a default Unity scene. And over here we have uh, various uh, 3D models. So we have one cube from Maya, one from 3ds Max, and the other one from Unity. And we're gonna see that there are some differences. For example, the one meter cube from Max will have to be rotated. This is because the Y and Z axis are flipped between those two software solutions. For, so for example, we see that in 3ds Max by default, we have the Z axis uh, going, uh, let's say, vertical within the scene, while within Unity, this will be the Y axis. So I will have this documentation again open. And we see that there are also some differences between the file size of the exported model. And there is a lot of confusion regarding this. So over here, we have the FBX exporter for 3ds Max. And we see that it's important to have uh, define the system unit setup. So in order to highlight this, I'm gonna go over here in Unity, I'm gonna go on game object, create, I'm gonna create a cube. And by default, I see that the cube is positioned over here. If I will go in 0, 0, 0, this will be that position for the cube. And on the Y axis, I will need to go up 0.5. So this will mean that the center of the, the cube will be positioned on top. Now I will go to 3ds Max and I will create a new cube. So I'll go on box, modify. So for the length, I will go with 1000 millimeters for the width and for the height as well. This will be that cube. I'm also gonna center it. And within 3ds Max, we know that if I have this selected, I go on modify, I can read the values over here. These values can be changed up from customize, unit setup, and we have this display unit scale. So it's currently set to millimeters. 
and also the possibility to measure within 3ds max we can go to the helper and we're gonna have over here the tape in order to snap to some points i'm gonna enable the snapping and i will right click on the button and go for vertex snapping and now i will see that from that element to the other one we're gonna have that length as 1000 millimeters okay now i will have that deleted and select the model go to file export export selected and i'm gonna call this 3ds max cube one meter i will save this on on desktop you're gonna see that uh, within the fbx exporter there are no changes that uh, need to be done because the units will already be converted we all ha also have these advanced options automatic scene unit conversion to inch i'm gonna leave this uh, as it is for now and we're gonna see what will happen so i'll go with ok i have that model ready so within unity i'm gonna have that model imported so import new asset this is the file that i just created let me make sure that this is the one so we see that it was created one minute ago have that imported and again this will be that cube if i will go in zero 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 this is gonna overlap perfectly on the default uh, cube from unity but we see that we have a rotation so that uh, y and z axis are swapped i'm gonna go to zero and now in order to have it position i'm gonna go over here zero point point five so we see there is this slight offset between uh, between those for the initial position and now if i'm gonna go in into 3ds max we know that the length of the cube is uh, well defined the only difference is regarding that pivot point so within the unity default cube the pivot point was set to middle I have the possibility to go to hierarchy affect pivot only center to object and if i'm gonna have this exported again i'm gonna call this the same but i'm gonna name it center uh, at the back again i will go with ok go back to unity have that imported as a new asset and this will be that with the center in the middle and again i'm gonna drag and drop that i will zero the values for the y x y and z and now if i'm gonna go with 0 0.5 i'm gonna see that this will perfectly overlap the existing uh, cube from unity so that's just the difference between that uh, that pivot point this one since it had the pivot point at the bottom this was rotated 90 degrees and only after that um, raised up okay so regarding 3ds max as we saw within uh, the documentation 3d modeling application can cause uh, can can display different units in the workspace to their internal unit settings which might cause some confusion so we see over here the system unit setup if i'm gonna go into 3ds max go up to customize unit setup over here we have the display unit scale but we also have the possibility to go within the system unit setup and over here we're gonna see that if i'm gonna click this uh, with ok we're gonna have one unit set to one inch before i'm gonna do that i'm gonna have this cube selected i'm gonna see that the length will be 1000 millimeters so customize unit setup if I'm gonna have this checked uh, for uh, respect system units and I'm gonna have this rescaled for inches, I'm gonna see that the file size will not change. So that will mainly affect the grid and other elements within 3ds Max. But if I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna uncheck that, so customize, system, have that selected, we're gonna see that the file size will still remain um, 1000 for this so 
this important if I'm gonna go now for um, millimeters and I'm gonna have this again we're gonna see that now the software has rescaled the model so this should have been uh, 1000 but it's currently only 39.37 and if I'm gonna have this selected file export export I'm gonna call this uh, the same with center but uh, I'm gonna call it also unit and if I will drop back into Unity, import new asset, I want the cube with a unit. I'm gonna see that this will be that uh, cube. So the scale is set to, to one, those uh, were restored, but we see that the cube is um, really small. So keep this in mind where you are, you are, when you are exporting from 3ds Max towards Unity regarding the, the unit setup. I'm gonna have that checked. I'm gonna keep this to 1000. And now all my models should move um, at their desired uh, one to one um, aspect. Especially if you are developing virtual reality application like the one with SteamVR, it's important to have the model at scale. And now also to add this. Um, aspects from Blender. I see that the video is 11 minutes long, but I will jump within Blender, go to File, New, General, and we have the default um, scene with a camera, a cube, and a light. And if I'm going to click on the cube, I will see that we have access to transform over here, so location, rotation, and scale. But if I'm going to press N, I have the possibility to see also the dimensions over here. So as you can see, the default cube in Blender has a length of 2 meters. We see that dimension over here. We also have the possibility to measure. I'm going to go over here, activate that snap, and we see that one edge has 2 meters. Now we'll have this exported, so I'm going to have the cube selected, go to File, Export, I will use the same FBX file format and I will go again on desktop so I'll call this blender cube one meter so I will use the same naming as uh, this one so it's actually two meters I will also only export the selected object otherwise also the light and the camera will be transferred within unity so have that checked only for selected object if I'm gonna go and export now I will import that cube so the cube from blender will be this one two meters and as we can see I'm gonna drag that within the scene and we see that it is at the correct uh, let's say file size I'm gonna snap those points by holding down V after that you can grab that vertex and we see the initial position and also the fact that uh, this cube has two meters so in order to to measure that we have the possibility to i'm going to delete this cube that wasn't centered i will duplicate this with ctrl d i will have that snapped i will duplicate now this two as well and now if i'm going to select all and have those duplicated we're going to see that the cubes that were imported from 3ds max each has um, the length of one meter and they are the same size as the, the one in blender so i hope you find this this kind of content useful i'm going to start creating more content regarding 3ds max blender and uh, unity on my channel there will still be uh, a lot of videos regarding computer design software but I would like also to discuss various aspects within um, other software solution, mainly the one used for virtual reality. Okay, if you find this video useful, let me know in the comment section and I will also address um, a video regarding Unreal Engine because over there the default unit is different from Unity. Okay, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.